Now, look, last night I pointed out that total government spending on Indigenous Australians was close to $40 billion a year, adjusting for inflation. The 2017 Productivity Commission report or about double the average spend on the general community. Now, partly, I said, this was because Aboriginal people made more use of general programs like welfare and partly because of Indigenous-specific programming. Here is what I said. The project hosts, well, they did a good job of trying to verbal him into thinking that his macro $40 billion budget number was somehow related to Canberra's National Indigenous Agency. That's what I, he, he didn't say that. They said that. In fact, he was talking about overall budget numbers. Every dollar that governments around the country spend on Aboriginal people. And the truth is, Kamal was right. Taxpayers do spend around $40 billion a year on Aboriginal Australians. Kamal was right. And here's the evidence to prove it. The 2017 Indigenous Expenditure Report from the Productivity Commission. That's the federal government's own Productivity Commission. And here's the key points. It says, in the 2015-16 financial year, total direct government expenditure on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Australians was estimated to be $33.4 billion. It says in 2015-16, the estimated direct expenditure per person was 44,886 for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Australians, which is around twice the rate for non-Indigenous Australians. Now, adjusting the 2016 figure in the Productivity Commission's report for inflation, well, that gives us now a figure of 39.5 billion in Aboriginal spending today. So Kamal last night on the project was actually spot on with his $40 billion figure. But that didn't stop the online leftist rag crikey claiming that somehow I was trying to trick people, saying this morning that I had, and I quote, repeated a debunked myth that $40 billion had been spent on Indigenous programs every year. Crikey claimed that this had been fact-checked as false. Even a journalist at news.com, which is connected to uh, News Corp uh, papers in this station, Sky News, Shannon Malloy. Well, Shannon Malloy fell for the trap because that's not what I said, as you've just seen. I said the total spending on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders was close to $40 billion, extrapolating that data from the Productivity Commission, adjusting it for inflation, and that that number comprised both general spending and specific program spending. Now, if Malloy had perhaps called me, I might have saved him the egg on his face. Indeed, the latest Productivity Commission report, this one's a draft report, issued in July this year, so 2023, also refers to tens of billions of dollars of expenditure every year. So look, enough for the lies, enough of the misinformation and disinformation from the Yes Camp and lazy journalists. This is the federal government's own Productivity Commission. Now, don't verbal me. Don't try and pretend I don't know how to read a Commonwealth report or a budget paper. It's patronising beyond belief and you'll get caught out, as you have been again tonight. Now, any wonder people are sceptical of the voice. This is why it is now in such deep trouble.